Hello Pisces! Welcome to your bonus love reading, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Pisces, this is a collective love message for your sign, so please take it how it resonates and what resonates for your overall situation. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Only you. Okay, so Pisces, what I am getting here very strongly is that um, um, it feels that you are in a twin flame connection with this person, that we are connecting in this reading for you. You might be mirroring each other, but this is a strong twin flame energy it's coming forward here. And this is a mutual energy between the two of you, so it feels like this is a twin flame connection. So we have only you, someone who cares a lot about you. But it's like, I feel that this person, mm, there is something here about them. I feel this person might, uh, it's like they're giving you a vibe that they might be non-committal. Okay, that they are only about one thing. Um, this person here, here is the thing. I feel that you are dealing here with someone who has a certain, who's carrying a certain baggage and they are afraid of a serious commitment. That's why they are projecting that non-committal energy. Someone who can be very passionate, you know, that, that the vibe I'm getting, but they care a lot about you. That's the thing. We have time waiting cycles moments. Yeah, this is a cycle that this person is stuck in. That's the thing. It's like they might... might I'm, because when it comes to your energy, Pisces, we have perspective, influences, attachments, but parties. Yeah, I feel that for some of you, this is someone here who is... Um, you see, again, we have this infinity sign. So it's like a never ending story with this person, but it's more about them being stuck in a certain cycle. Uh, for some of you, this is someone who can get very easily influenced by others. Um, for some of you, this is someone here because of their non-committal non -committal nature. They might have put you in a third party situation or it's like they are entertaining karmic situations or people or um, they can get very easily distracted. I feel that you kind of, you are aware that this is someone who might have um, attachment issues or it's like they are guided by their fear. And I feel that you kind of see this, you kind of see this person. I feel that you are aware what's going on or why this person is acting that way. And I feel very strongly here that you would like uh, to kind of, um, to ch not to change this person, but it's like to maybe to be supportive and help them to heal. That third party can be, for instance, this person's lifestyle, uh, lifestyle, sorry, uh, excuse me, a uh, lifestyle, uh, let's say habits, unhealthy habits, or, you know, close related environment that you know, are holding quite an influence on this person. It doesn't have to be another individual that they are, you know, uh, kind of got distracted and they started to entertain someone else here. It might be a case, but it doesn't have to be. That's the thing. But you share very strong connection with this person. This is a twin flame connection. Overall energy, we have that divine masculine energy. So you might be divine masculine or this person is divine masculine. I'm getting that they are. Uh, there is something here about you focusing on them a lot and trying to figure out the best way to kind of maybe help this person or guide them in the right direction. 
I feel that you truly care about this person. I can tell you, this person is in love with you, but they are carrying a baggage and this is someone who's conditioned by they passed, maybe they are really stuck in a certain habit, or unhealthy habits, I would say, lifestyle. And that's why it kind of complicates things. But um, yeah, time here, it's also of an essence. But let's see, very important. Okay, could you please show me this person's feelings and energy towards Pisces and this connection, please? We have the death card. Mm -hmm. We have the Empress of this Divine Masculine Energy. Mm -hmm. Seven of Wands. Knight of Swords. I feel that you are dealing here, Pisces, with someone who has very strong defense mechanism, with the Seven of Wands and the Knight of Swords. We have a Six of Pentacles and the Lovers, you see? This person cares about you. We have a Page of Wands, High Priestess and Six of Cups. So we have this very strong energy, kind of soulmate energy. You might be dealing Pisces with a Scorpio. I have Aries, Gemini, and uh, your energy Pisces. So far in this reading for you. So you might be dealing with another Pisces. This is someone who knows that they need to change. That um, the, it is a time to reevaluate certain things and to leave certain situations and people behind because they no longer serve a purpose in this person's life. This is someone who needs to take control over their own life and stop being influenced by others. We have Seven of Wands with the Knight of Swords. This person is going to chase you. I feel that they will try to I feel this is someone here who can have this very strong defense mechanism, but there is also that feeling within them that they really want to prove it to you, Pisces, that um, they care. Because seven of uh, wands is also kind of that energy, I need to prove something to someone. The feeling that this person might have. Also someone is very kind of protective over something. And I feel over this connection. <laughs> you see, I'm getting very kind of, mixed energy here I'm, I'm getting that this person once when they wake up they are really kind of willing to detach from that things and 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 situations that just com are complete waste of time and this person is ready to take you know uh, control fully control to be fully in control of their life but there are moments like next day it might be a case that this person is like oh you know i'm going to meet up with certain people and you know we're going to have fun, let's say it that way. So um, I feel this is someone who is very argumentative. They might have quick temper. They speak before they think. They, they come across or they, you know, their attitude is like, I know best. It's my way or highway kind of attitude. But there is something here about them about those feelings that they have for you and they are strong feelings that this person doesn't want to give up on this connection but this individual needs to take a full control of their life and there is a need to, to there is a need for moderation they need to change certain things in order to be in that beautiful divine masculine energy this is someone who needs to level up we have six of pentacles and the lovers yeah, I feel that this person, you know, with this Knight of Swords, they're going to chase you. And they will be very, very generous with their time, attention, affection towards you. Because ultimately, this person would like to be in a relationship with you, with the lovers. 
page of wands you will receive communication from this person if if for instance uh, there is no contact situation between the two of you at the moment meaning this person hasn't been in touch for some time with the high precious because it might be a case six of cups suggest that they are coming back and they will reach out with the page of wands to you okay if you are in touch with this person i'm getting here very strongly that they will tell you something that they've been hiding but it will be something very nice very sweet excuse me with the six of cups and uh, also they will they will tell you something here about their past and it will be quite emotional i feel uh, for for them they might share something here about their childhood with the six six of cups or family situation but this is something that they haven't told you yet but they will let's see pisces let's see ten of cups could you please show me this could you oh they're thinking about you could you please show me pisces energy and feelings towards this person and this connection please queen of pentacles tower mm -hmm. could you please show me pisces energy and feelings towards this person this connection queen of cups all right five of cups and five of wands hermit at the bottom of the deck so pisces you might be dealing with aries we have scorpio we have virgo energy page of and that high precious here mm, okay Basis for some of you, this is someone here who indeed might have uh, got distracted and and they've put you in a third party situation. For some of you, Pisces, this is someone, it's like, okay, all right. I'm getting someone someone's ex. Uh, I feel that for a lot of you, you are dealing here with someone who had previously a certain amount of stability with another person with the ten of cups and the queen of pentacles but things didn't work out with the tower and i feel that you've kind of that influences might be because of that third party maybe because of their ex uh, what i mean by this you might feel like their ex is always present in this connection irrespective of the fact that they are their ex that they ex-partner it's always present in this connection and i feel that really really caused a certain certain discord here between the two of you because we have your energy pisces with the queen of cups and then we have a five of cups and five of wands number 55 might be quite important or five five but uh, this is like um i feel that there was a uh, disagreement or tension or this this ex created a tension within this connection and maybe certain things were said maybe you had enough you know and you vocalize your opinion here maybe you've just said listen it's 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 odd it's a little bit toxic in a sense that this person here is very demanding because i feel that this 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 ex is, might be quite demanding children might be involved in that situation for some of you and it's like they are always present they might be texting this person it, it, this is someone who that ex is attached and that's that influence that i am getting very strongly and i feel that something here was said tower moment happened and um there was a disagreement or argument or you vocalize your opinion and it and in general it's like this 
X created a tension between the two of you in this connection. And with the Five of Cups, I feel that this, this, this situation doesn't make you happy. Because this is an energy of sadness, you know. Sadness because something here is constantly like someone outside influences is creating a drama between the two of you and it's tiring it's it's it it's not making you feel happy mm -hmm. and that's what i am getting we have the hermit page of wands the high precious yes you 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 will uh this is the same energy this person is going to uh, tell you things you'll receive a message from them but with the hermit i feel that you are quite lonely in this situation and i'm seeing you kind of yeah looking at at the different looking from a different perspective we don't have the hangman but the hermit here in this context of this reading suggests that it might be a case but at the same time i feel that you are trying to figure out I'm seeing you kind of looking at this whole dynamics in this connection uh, in a completely different way. But in general, I feel that you are quite lonely at the moment regarding this whole situation. And you might be contemplate, contemplating if, if it's, if it's, you know, if this connection, it's, it's the right one. Queen of Swords. That high precious here, it's coming. Yeah, it can. Mm -hmm. You are very, very intuitive, Pisces. I mean, Pisces is very intuitive. Water signs are quite intuitive. I mean, they are the most intuitive signs, I would say. Based on my personal experience. You might disagree, that's okay. But, um, yeah, it's like there is something here about um, you listening to your inner voice, trusting that inner feeling. Could you please show me the outcome? If it's not the exit, it might be a family member, you know, this from this person's side, like a relative that holds that influence on this person. Could you please show me the outcome? Justice. Okay. We have Libra energy. Ace of Pentacles. Two of Swords and the Three of Wands. Mm, interesting. Because this person is coming with the energy of justice. You might be dealing with Capricorn as well. Mm -hmm. um, it feels here that this person wants to talk. They want to bring some sort of kind of clarity to the situation. I feel that this person really wants to kind of, you know, they know that they need to balance things out with you if they truly care. And it feels like they do. We have an Ace of Pentacles. So there will be an opportunity, possibility to kind of, uh, to bring more stability to the situation. Ace of Pentacles suggests that this person is going to make an offer, a solid offer. And I feel that's that solid offer, it's, it's, it, involves also them trying to bring clarity and trying to be sincere and honest with you because with the justice they will try to appear that way and then we have the two of swords with the three of wands that's the, also an energy that you are coming into this outcome i feel when it comes to you pisces um i'm not seeing you 100 percent. you know kind of uh oh it's so cool you know you <laughs> Um, in a sense of I'm not seeing you being very kind of uh, enthusiastic 
about this whole situation even if they approach you with that offer because two of swords is that energy of crossroads when this offer will be made to you i feel that uh, you will take your time in order to rethink what to do next with the three of wands because two of swords suggest that indeed you you might be when they will make this offer you will feel that it's like a double double edged sword situation and you might be feeling like, mm, well, I am at the crossroads. What am I supposed to do? Maybe that's why we have this this high priestess, you know, showing up throughout your reading is to kind of to trust yourself, to trust your intuition, to trust your feelings. Because your intuition here is guiding you in the right direction. But I'm seeing you being at the crossroads with that, with regards to that offer that this person is going to make and uh, also them trying to really balance things out with you overall energy we have a nine of wands nine of wands it feels here very strongly that you don't fully trust this person no um you are yeah you, you have your guard up because with the knight of wands and the devil card here there is this suggestion that I feel that you have your reasons, obviously, with this energy, uh, with the Knight of Wands and the Devil card, because that that suggests here that indeed um, this person is bringing so much kind of inconsistent energy to this connection. They can be very, very passionate indeed, uh, but it's like this person is stuck in a certain dynamic with those two cards with those two cards they are stuck in a certain dynamic and um, and you might be suspecting here that this person it's in 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 no position to offer you a stability like a serious long-term relationship because that it's like being stuck in that in and out hot and cold energy because of something that is going on at the background in this person's life that's why there is a need for them to take full control over their life decisions they need to detach here from something or someone or whatever that might be that no longer it's working for them and I feel you are aware of those circumstances here. Yes, this is a twin flame connection, but it's, 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 it's difficult. It's challenging. And with the nine of wands, I feel that you know exactly what's going on at the end of the day, Pisces. And that's why you don't trust the situation. And that's why it might be a case that when this person will come forward with an offer, they will try to make a promises. They will try to balance things out with you, trying to come across as a sincere and honest with you. You might still have your guard up because you know exactly what is going on. That's why you might be at the crossroads thinking, well, I don't know what to do. Should I believe them or should I not? Because you don't trust this person because of that nature that this knight of wands with that other card it's bringing. It's, it's kind of, you know, it's showing up here in this reading. And that represents someone who is very, very in and out, hot and cold, and they are stuck in that dynamic. They can be very, very possessive, also um, very stubborn and quite controlling. But mainly, this is like this person, it's stuck. It's stuck. We have this energy of cycles here. And also that infinity sign, right? It's like never-ending story. They are stuck. They are repeating cycles constantly. This is someone who needs to stop doing that. They need to release themselves from that energy. And they need to take a full control over their life, essentially. Nevertheless, Pisces, this person here, wants to be with you. They feel this connection and they're going to make an offer, a solid offer, but I'm not seeing you making decision immediately. You will take your time in order to kind of seriously think about this. Pisces, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. 
And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Pisces, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I am sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.